You can radically change the shape and tomba of symbols using effect plugins. And in this walkthrough, we're going to take a grungy open hi hat and make it more mix friendly. Add dirty hat.wav to your project and loop it so that it plays continuously. Add PSP's mix saturated plugin and enable the open sat switch and crank the input up to about 7 dB to really drive the hi hat. As the output saturation stops it going over 0 dB, we're really squashing it and maximising headroom. This means we can drop the level of the hi-hat low in the mix and it'll still stand out. There's a lot of lower mid-range and bottom end clutter to this hi-hat and it's standing out more than we'd like, so add a low-cut EQ filter with frequency set to 300Hz. By placing the EQ plugin before the saturation effect, we alleviate the situation of unwanted low-end mud, causing the sound to oversaturate sooner. The low cut has done wonders for clearing up the mud, but there's still a little bump in the lower mids that's standing out too far. Make a cut using another band of the EQ at around 450Hz. Use a key width of 0.5 for a broader tuck and pull down by about 5.5dB or so. Our hi-hat doesn't feature much of a transient, so we'll give it a slight lift at the start by placing an envelope follower before the saturation. We don't want the transient to be too in your face and placing it pre-saturation gives the subtle impression of bite without the headroom munching spike of a normal transient. We're using Cubase's envelope shaper with an attack set 7.5. The hi-hat's sounding a lot bigger and louder now but the saturation has made the body just a little bit too big. We can fix this and tighten up the hats by adjusting the release on the envelope shaper, pull it down to about minus 10.